Hey guys, today we're going to discuss how to solve separable differential equations. A general first order differential equation has the form dy over dx equal to a function of x and y. A separable differential equation is when that function of x and y is a product a qu or a quotient of functions. A product of functions would be a of x times b of y, and a quotient of functions would be a of x over b of y. A of x and b of y are just two different functions. A of x depends on x and b of y depends on y. The method we use to solve separable differential equations is called separation of variables. Here's the basic idea. Let's say we have the product of functions, so a of x times b of y. The name of the method basically describes what we're going to do. We're just separating the variables. We want the function of x on one side and the function of y on the other side of the equation. So in this method, y prime is the same thing as dy over dx, and we treat dy and dx as two separate algebraic quantities, meaning we can move each of them around almost like they're normal variables. I want you to take a second and look at the equation. How can we make all of the x's go on one side and all of the y's go on the other side? When I say all of the x's, I mean a of x as well as dx, and all of the y's, meaning b of y, as well as the dy. If we divide both sides by b of y, then a of x will be by itself on the right, but we still have the dx on the left side, and we need that to be on the same side as a of x, so we multiply both sides by dx. Now we have dy and b of y on one side, and dx and a of x on the other side. We just separated the variables. But we're not done yet. The point of the problem was to find what y is equal to. In order to find y, we have to integrate both sides. The left side will be integrated with respect to y, and the right side will be integrated with respect to x because there's a dy on the left and a dx on the right. Now on the left side, we'll have a y and no dy, and on the right side, we'll have just x with no dx. With some algebra, we'll be able to solve for y. Now let's do a quotient of functions. So y prime will equal a of x over b of y. We're just gonna repeat the same steps we just did. So you should try to pause the video and do it by yourself or you can just watch me do it. So we're gonna separate the variables and bring all of the y's to the left and all of the x's to the right. It doesn't matter which side you, you make what. Um, I think it's easier to put all the y's on the left because I like to write my answer as y equals something instead of something equals y. Now let's multiply both sides by dx. We integrate both sides and no longer have a dy or a dx. And then we can just solve for y. So let's solve an actual problem. We'll do a problem in which f of x and y will be a product. So a of x times v of y. So in this problem, a of x is secant squared x, and b of y is y squared. The first thing to do is change y prime into dy over dx if it's not already in that form. So let's bring all of the x's on the right. We're going to multiply both sides by dx, then divide both sides by y squared. Now we can integrate both sides. The integral of one over y squared is negative y to the negative one power, and the integral of secant squared x is tangent x. Make sure you keep reviewing your trig rules and know your derivatives and antiderivatives of things like secant x or tangent x because they'll definitely come up during integration. So now we're gonna do some simple algebra so we can isolate y. We're gonna divide both sides by negative one. 
I like to rewrite y to the negative 1 as 1 over y because it's easier for me to work with. We multiply both sides by y. We can isolate y by, by dividing both sides by negative tangent x. So we get y equals 1 over negative tangent x. The biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this is that the separation of variables is used whenever your differential equation is not only first order, but the stuff to the right of the equation has to be a function of x and y. So if you see only y's, you can't separate variables because there's only one variable. So the differential equation has to be first order, have both x's and y's, but also be either a product or quotient of functions.